it's Cecilia! It's no secret that Lilith's Pet Shop is a highly sought after toy to collect, but what's the most you've ever spent on an LPS? Was it $10, $20, maybe even $50? As Lilith's Pet Shop becomes more and more collectible, the value of certain pets has skyrocketed into hundreds, even thousands of dollars. In this video, you will see the most valued LPS money can buy, and maybe one of them will actually be in your collection. Number 10, Dachshund 675. Out of all the pets on this list, here's the one you're most likely to have in your collection. This Dachshund was widely released as part of the Pet Train and Park set. She's not expensive because she's a rare pet per se, but rather because she's significant to the LPS community as a whole. If you've set foot in LPS Tube for even a day, you'll probably know this Dachshund is the pet that plays Savannah from LPS Popular. This series is not only special for having the most impact on the LPS community, but also for putting its characters on the map and pretty much starting the phenomenon that is Big 5 LPS. Although it is possible to find an authentic version of this pet for under $50, these days it's regularly listed and sold for up to $100. So if you have this girl in your collection, you're either an LPS veteran or a diehard collector. Number 9, the Comic-Con Hippo. Don't worry, we'll get to this one later on. Less known, but just as rare, this hippo could only be found at San Diego Comic-Con in 2010. He has an amazing design that feels reminiscent of the postcard pets, and I love the colors and playfulness of the packaging. While the loose pet has previously been sold for $70, it's also been sold for well over $100 with its original packaging, and based on current listings, this pet is only rising in price. But fret not, dearest viewer, if you love this guy but don't love the price, Hippo 1815 has similar colors and design, so it can work great as a substitute. Number 8, Short Hair Cat 2291. I was surprised to see that this pet was so expensive because she's pretty popular in the LPS community. She was also released in 2011 when LPS Popular was, well, popular, and the mystique of Big Five pets was starting to rise, so I figured this pet would be more common to have. Guess not. At the time I'm making this video, while there currently aren't any authentic listings for this pet, I know they say authentic, but they're not, this pet has recently been sold from $80 to well over $100. If you have an authentic version of this pet, consider yourself very lucky. Number 7, Collie 272. This guy is a very interesting case because while most of the pets on this list are hard to find for good reason, there's nothing particularly special about this pet beside the fact that he's a collie. Just a dude in a tube, and based on my own childhood memories, the pet tubes were pretty common so I'm not too sure why he's so hard to find now. Well he is, and while there are many, many fakes out there claiming to be authentic, the only listings for the true authentic version are currently being offered from $125 to nearly $200, and it's been sold many times in this price range as well. If you're a veteran collector, you may want to go through your collection because you may just have a gold mine. Number 6, Dachshund 909. This pet is really popular among LPS collectors, and you may be familiar with her too. This dachshund was part of a Walmart exclusive pet pair along with this cute little bonbon cat, and for some reason, it's become highly sought after over the years. It's been sold from $70 to almost $150, and the current listings for this pet are even more expensive, with its highest price at over $300. Thankfully, if you really like the look of this pet, Dachshund 556 is a pretty good dupe that sells for a much more reasonable price. Number 5, Collie 1330 Variant. This sticker eye Collie, which was released as part of the Barnyard Pets, is a pretty common find and goes for a reasonable price between $10 to $20. What's not so common is its variant, which you can spot by the tan marking on his head instead of the regular brown. This guy is extremely rare, so if you want him, expect to empty your wallet. It's been sold recently for $230, and the current listings range from $230 all the way to over $400. Would you be willing to pay this much for an LPS? Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Number 4, Cocker Spaniel 568. Not to be mistaken for this girl, Cocker Spaniel 568 was released in an Australian exclusive of the biggest Lilith's pet shop, along with four other pets that are equally as rare. This is one of my dream LPS, but as much as I'd love to have her as part of my collection, given the fact that she's a country exclusive and a well-designed Big Five pet, you can already tell she's going to be pretty expensive. This pet has been both listed and sold for over $300, so if you want her, well good luck with that, Chief. Number 3, the Comic-Con Cat. 
finally we've reached the esteemed Comic-Con short hair cat. You might already be familiar with her, but if you're not, this pet was only available at San Diego Comic-Con in 2009. This pet is gorgeous and has such a special design, so it's no wonder she's worth a lot these days. This pet has been sold loose for over $350 and is currently listed for a similar price, but it's extremely hard to find the Comic-Con cat in its original packaging, and at time of recording, the only listing for this pet in mint condition is going for almost a thousand dollars. That might seem crazy to many of you, but it's been sold in the past for a similar price. When you're dealing with pets this rare, be prepared to shell out the big bucks. Number two, the licensing show Turtle. If you're really passionate about LPS, you may be familiar with the licensing show Turtle. It could only be found at a trade show in 2007, so it was probably made for the purpose of promoting Littlest Pet Shop to larger corporations and investors, but that's just my guess. Whatever the circumstances were, what we do know is that this is one of the rarest LPS in existence, with only a few hundred made. But there may be even less out there because according to this person on Reddit, the extra ones were thrown away after the event. Oh, if only they knew. Because of this, it is extremely rare to find the licensing show turtle listed on eBay, and the ones who do have this pet are extreme collectors who probably don't have any interest in selling theirs. While there haven't been any recent listings for this pet, I personally have seen it for over $600, but I don't remember the exact price, so it might have been even more. The same Reddit person says they bought theirs for about $800, and when LPS Honey released a video about getting hers, the thumbnail showed a price of $1,000. This could just be an edit, but it's also pretty much how much this pet is worth. Did you think these pets could get any more expensive? Think again. But first, it's time for some honorable mentions! Lion758. This is a mystery pet that's apparently a New Zealand exclusive? If it's a mystery, how would we know? Anyway, this handsome lad has been sold for over $80. Short hair cat 410. Not to be confused with this girl, LPS 410 was a Toys R Us exclusive, and despite her plain markings, this girl has been listed and sold from $70 to over $100. Dachshund 2046. This cutie was in a Walmart exclusive pet pair. However, there are some discrepancies in the price, as it's currently listed in a set for over $200, it's been sold for $125, and also... $15? God, I wish that were me. The Beijing Panda Set. This Chinese exclusive has been sold for about $150 and is currently listed for up to $250. It comes with the beautiful Panda 1084 and... 90? Dude, I have like eight of these. The Brazilian Glitter Pet Variants. Okay, I didn't even know these were a thing. They don't have glitter, they have different numbers, and they're not even listed on LPS merch. Anyway, the bat ugh, has been sold for over $70, and the rest are really, really expensive. And Magic Motion Cat number one. Seriously, despite this pet being worth like three bucks, multiple people have bought it for hundreds of dollars. I don't think I want to live on this planet anymore. Anyway, it's time for the big reveal. How much could anyone possibly spend on a two inch plastic toy? Well, you're about to find out. The number one most expensive LPS in the world goes to the Destiny Cat Prototype. This pet was brought to people's attention in 2014 after LPS Hannah's skit called Destiny's Evil Twin. However, after all these years, we still know hardly anything about it. Even Hannah herself has said she doesn't know much about this pet, but it's widely believed to be a prototype of LPS 1312. Although there are many more LPS prototypes, given their nature, there are probably only a handful made of each, so it's an event in itself to find one listed on eBay, and it's not uncommon to see them listed for thousands of dollars. Now you might be thinking, Cecilia, anyone can list an LPS for a thousand dollars, but that doesn't mean anyone's gonna buy it, right? Wrong! Even I was shocked when I found out that this pet sold for $1,700. That's almost half of the average monthly income in the United States. I don't know who bought this pet, but whoever you are, I salute you. So what do you think about the prices of these pets? Would you be willing to pay hundreds of dollars for one LPS? I don't know if I would, but the licensing show Turtle is a gem, so I wouldn't put it past myself if I saw it for a good price. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday, Friday, Wednesday, whatever day you're watching this. Um, if you made it this far in the video, make sure to comment, uh, your rarest LPS if you know. Anyway, it is time for me to get punched off the screen, but not physically, with the giant fist, of course. Thank you so much for watching, and it's time for me to go.